everybody. My name is Tony Vidala, and today I'm going to be talking about sidewalks. Please show the audience. And my most awesome camera person. <coughs> For my purposes, I'm going to show you my note cards. And I do have a chart that I'm going to be referencing. Crash! Holy crap, what was that? That is the sound of frantic mother hearing a horrible crash outside her house. She runs to the door, throws it open. Okay. Her child is safe. Now, who in this room has ever had to go through that? Me too. Because, see, in my neighborhood, my children don't have the luxury of being able to play on the sidewalk in front of my house. Their only option is to play in the front yard or in the driveway or, well, in the yard or, you know, uh, inside the house, but let's face it, kids like to play as close to the road as they can. Why? I don't know. I never understood it, but they do. Having a sidewalk gives them sort of a barrier between the road and where they play. It gives them like a little cushion, so to speak. <clears throat> Not having that sidewalk puts them in harm's way, puts the people driving down the road in harm's way. Today I'm going to be telling you why I think it's important to have sidewalks in all neighborhoods, mine included. I have found across, uh, I came across some statistics from 1997 to 2005, there was a report that came out. And in that report, it was National Pedestrian Crash Report, it says 25.4% of people died because they walked against traffic. Hmm. Okay, so, I'm walking along. Boom, I'm dead. Why? Because I wanted to see what was coming at me. But that doesn't make sense. Now they're saying that if I was walking along with the flow of traffic in the road, I would be safer. How does that make sense? It doesn't make sense to me. It makes more sense than if I was on a sidewalk walking with the flow of traffic or walking against the flow of traffic, that I'd be safer. Don't you agree? Uh-huh. Now, it also says that 9.8% of people were killed because they weren't visible. Now, that could mean that they didn't have that reflective uh, tape on them, or they were wearing dark clothes at night, or there was a car in the way or something. Well, my personal opinion is that if they weren't in the road in the first place, there wouldn't be an issue because they wouldn't need to not be visible. Because they'd be on a sidewalk and they wouldn't be in the way of the oncoming traffic. So all of these statistics, in my opinion, can be explained away. If they were on a sidewalk, they'd probably still be alive. I wanted to also go over a little bit of history and some uses, as well as some other dangers of not having a sidewalk, and some benefits of having a, adding sidewalks. Let's do a little history. When you were little, did you have a sidewalk when you were growing up? Well, you probably did. Most neighborhoods were built 
with sidewalks. <clears throat> there are some more rural areas that did not because they were country areas. And that makes sense. They had 100 acres to play, so they didn't really have a need for a sidewalk because they probably weren't going to be jogging, walking, riding bikes along the road. Salisbury, North Carolina had a vision plan, and you can look that up online. It says that in our history, the essential part of our communities were built with the mindset that sidewalks were important, and those were the reasons why. I agree with that. Uses for the sidewalk would be to safely be able to walk your dog, or your cat, I suppose, so that your kids could play, so that people could exercise, and so that people, when going into a neighborhood, when they're looking around, they're going to judge your neighborhood whether they realize it or not, based on whether or not it has a sidewalk. They will subconsciously see and determine whether or not your, your neighborhood is safe, whether or not it has a sidewalk. Aesthetically speaking, a sidewalk actually improves the look and feel of your neighborhood. Without a sidewalk. Oh, and you can um, look up more of that. Quintessential Careers, Randall Hanson, Ph.D., wrote about that. No sidewalk. Kids at a, at a bus stop, they're an easy grab, honestly. They're right there on the road. <coughs> what if they're turned around not paying attention? Someone can come right up behind them. You're gone. You may never see them again. Do you want that for your child? I don't. My kids, they're in the middle of, the they're in the middle of my front yard waiting for that bus to come. They're a good 30 feet from, from the end. Benefits to adding a sidewalk helps improve the property value of your home. Um, helps make it look more pleasing. Helps provide additional comfort. And um, personally, it gives just a little bit more of a cushion between you and the and traffic. A little quieter because it's almost like a a border. So I wanted to go over um, a little history of sidewalks. Safety, uh, the dangers of not having sidewalks, the reasons we should have sidewalks, and the benefits of having them. I thank you very much for coming and listening to my arguments, and hope you have a wonderful day.